Hey there, welcome to everyone watching this video. We appreciate you tuning in. Today we're gonna to showcase how to use CoinLedger back to front and the entire process of using our app to do your tax reports and track your portfolio. So let's go ahead and jump in. First of all, it's completely free to sign up for an account with us. You can do so at our website, coinledger.io. So we encourage you to do so. Now let's jump into CoinLedger. Uh, it's as simple as three steps to generate a tax report here with us. We're gonna showcase how to do all of those steps and we're also gonna showcase how to use CoinLedger's brand new portfolio tracker. So let's start with importing your data. This is the first step of the CoinLedger process. When you sign up for an account with us, you'll want to import your entire transaction history for all the years that you have transacted in crypto. This includes importing every wallet, dApp, or centralized exchange that you may have used over the years. So on my account, I've imported a few already, but I'm actually going to showcase how to import my Coinbase account as well as my Coinbase Pro Trades and my MetaMask wallet. So let's start with Coinbase. We'll select add account here in the bottom left corner and then we'll search for Coinbase and let's click that as shown here. Now we're going to import using the API process. This is just one of the many ways you can import data into CoinLedger. You can import either via an API uh, via a transaction history file or your blockchain wallet address. However, for this instance, I'm going to use the API process. So let's select that and let's head over to sync our transactions. And this will actually take you directly to Coinbase. It will ask you to authorize allowing CoinLedger read only access to your transaction history. So let's select all accounts here and then allow access. And now we'll log in to our Coinbase account. And here you can see I was logged in. It was a simple, seamless process to get my Coinbase trades transferred over. Now here in the bottom of the screen, you can see this import progress modal. It allows you to see the progress of your Coinbase import. Really awesome feature. And here you can see all of my transactions, 114 to be specific, have been imported over from Coinbase. So that's awesome. Very quick process, should take just minutes for you. And then next we'll want to showcase how to import your Coinbase Pro transactions. Now I'm one of those, probably like many of you out there, I used Coinbase Pro way back in the day uh, and then now I'm using Coinbase because of course Coinbase Pro shut down. Keep in mind though, you actually want to import your Coinbase Pro transactions separately from your Coinbase transactions because while they're the same platform now, they were not years ago. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll select add account and we're going to search for Coinbase Pro. Now the great thing about CoinLedger is that we actually show you how to import from each exchange we support. Um, we have a file import guide shown here. You can select that. That's actually showcased for each account that we support, right? It shows up for any of these exchanges. So that'll show you the processes that I follow to get my transaction history file. So I'll select browse and I have two files for my entire Coinbase Pro history. I'm gonna upload the first one here. And again, you can see this really handy import progress modal. And then once that completes, I will import the other as well. And then I will import my second file. This is my 2021 and 2022 transactions. And there you go all of my Coinbase Pro and Coinbase transactions have been imported. You can see how easy that was. It took just minutes. Now, this is the fun part. I'm going to import my MetaMask wallet address. Like I said, you wanna import all of your transactions, right? You wanna get everything for all years and all accounts, wallets that you have used to transact crypto. So I'm gonna grab my MetaMask wallet address real fast. This is my public receive wallet address. I just copied it to my clipboard and then let's select add account. So you can import any wallet into CoinLedger. Uh, you can do it one of two ways, right? You can import either by selecting the blockchain you're using or the method that we recommend is selecting the wallet that you're using. So let's say you're a Ledger, Trust Wallet user, et cetera, you would select it here. I'm on MetaMask, right? I'm gonna select connect wallet and then I'm going to select Ethereum as my blockchain for now, it's the default, and then paste in my wallet address. And the really cool thing about CoinLedger 
is that it's so intelligent that it will actually suggest importing from other blockchains that it detected my wallet address having activity on. So you can opt out of that, but I recommend agreeing because it's going to bring in all of your transactions, which is again, critical for tax purposes. So it's really cool. You can see it saw, hey, this wallet address, this MetaMask for, for Ben is using uh, you know multiple different blockchains. You can see Base, you know, Phantom, Gnosis, BNB Smart Chain, really awesome feature. And I'm going to press sync transactions and now all of my transactions will be seamlessly imported. And like we said before, uh, sorry, I moved my face. You can uh, check out the progress of your imports here on this awesome little menu. All right, and you can see that all of our transactions have now been imported. We can see we have you know thousands of transactions that just got seamlessly imported into CoinLedger from all of my wallets. So again, awesome feature. Now we'll move on to the transactions page. So this is where you can check out each of your imported transactions. You can filter by specific transaction types and accounts to drill down into your data even further. It's a really awesome and customizable tool. Uh, you can also reclassify or edit any transactions as needed on this page. So for example, you know, most transaction types are imported automatically and classified perfectly on the first try. Occasionally, you'll have transaction types that are imported as uncategorized. This occurs when CoinLedger does not automatically have that transaction type mapped yet for that exchange or blockchain, but it's a really easy fix. The reason you want to do that is you want to make sure that the taxability of your transactions is fully and accurately represented in CoinLedger. So if you see any uncategorized transactions, it's as simple as clicking this modal. You'll select click here. And then you can um, categorize these transactions one by one, or you can do it in bulk, right? So if I wanted to mark them here as a particular transaction type, I can easily do that. You can also troubleshoot missing cost basis warnings, which occur when you haven't imported all of your transaction history into CoinLedger using this page. You can select this missing cost basis banner and it actually pulls up our missing cost basis report, which is a really powerful tool. It tells you how much of an asset is missing cost basis and how to fix it. And as we mentioned before, you can drill down further into all aspects of your data on this page, filter by ascending or descending. Uh, it's a really fun tool to experiment with. And then finally, we have the tax reports page. So this is where the magic happens, right? This is where you can check out your gains and losses as well as income for the tax year. On this page, you can look at a breakdown of your short and long-term capital gains. Here you can see my gains for the year. I can filter by asset if I want. I can also click this button and it'll pull up my losses instead. Um, or you can take a look at your crypto income for the year. So this has a breakdown of your crypto income and what type it was, whether it was an airdrop for staking or mining, et cetera. So it's really awesome to be able to drill down into your gains and in income so intelligently. It's also here that you'll purchase your tax reports and you'll be able to view and download them once you have done so. So here for 2023, right? That was my report for 2024. I can see a preview of my gains um, and I see I have a tiny fractional bit of income. But if I wanted to purchase, I would select upgrade to unlock and I would begin that checkout process. We do have all of our tax reports here on the tax reports page. We support IRS compatible tax forms like the form 8949 or forms compatible with tax filing software like Tax Act, TurboTax, etc. And then finally, if you wanted to invite a tax professional to you know, drill down, view your account, and then export your tax reports to file them on your behalf, you can add a tax professional and invite them using this button. It's a really great uh, tool. We encourage you to give your accountant access if you use a tax guy, right? And then finally, we have the new and exciting feature so excited to dive into this with you. This is the portfolio tracker. So our portfolio tracker is brand new. It allows you to track the amount, price, market value, cost basis, 
percentage change over time, and the unrealized return of all of the cryptocurrencies held across all of your imported wallets. So what the portfolio tracker by CoinLedger does is it calculates your asset balances based on the imported transaction data across all of your wallets, right? So I can see here, these are all of the assets I've imported into CoinLedger, um, and I can view them across all accounts, or I could look at, hey, what are my Coinbase assets? What are just my MetaMask assets? It's really powerful. Um, and it allows you to drill down into the market value of your portfolio overall. Here is my all-time view. I have this one day view, one week, one month, et cetera. So it's really awesome. Uh, you know, it's completely free to use. It requires no purchase at all. So, you know, you can sign up for CoinLedger. You can just import your data and use our portfolio tracker. Totally free. You will not be charged for that. So that's CoinLedger. Uh, you know, that's the gist of our app. It's as simple as signing up for free, importing your data, reviewing your transactions, making sure everything is classified correctly, and then downloading your tax reports. Uh, and of course, you know, at any time you can track your portfolio, come back into the year, even if you're not doing your taxes until next, you know, winter or spring, you can sign up for our app and track your portfolio whenever you want. CoinLedger does all the hard work for you. So we encourage you to sign up for free. And that's really it. Uh, let us know in the comments why you signed up for CoinLedger. Are you interested in portfolio tracking or is it doing your tax reports? We're really excited to hear why. We appreciate you watching and thank you. Have a great day.